In our previous video, we spoke about the binary operation. Let G be a non-empty set. The binary operation star is a well-defined rule for a pair of elements A, B in G such that A star B is an element of G. We can also look at binary operation as a function. We are pairing elements of G to another element of G. You read this as cross G cross G. So you are pairing one element of G to another element and that produces an output. The output that it will produce depends on what star is supposed to do on those two elements of G. A binary operation is also an operation that is closed. That means that when A and B are elements of G, the output when you apply the operation on A and B is also supposed to be found in G. We had been using this, our basic arithmetic, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. They are examples of binary operation. Okay, each of them is what we call our star in our definition of binary operation. But when we were in grade school, all the way to high school, the special, the, the special set that we were working on was the set of real numbers. One example of binary operation that you met only in college is modular arithmetic. It can be addition modulo n or multiplication modulo n. So what do we do with, with addition modulo n? So let's say, for example, 5 and 7. Okay, so these are our a and b. And 5 and 7 are elements of the set of integers. Okay, this is our g. So what does addition modulo 3 does to 5 and 7? What is the result? So what we do is we obtain the sum of 5 and 7, we divide it by 3, and then pay attention to the remainder. So 5 plus 7 is 12, divided by 3 is 4. It has no remainder. So under this operation, we shall do a particular rule. We look for the remainder when we divide the sum by 3. And the remainder, of course, is, is equal to 0. In the last video, we also introduced this as an example of a binary operation. A and B comes from the set of integers. This is the binary operation mean. And we defined what it is supposed to do. It will pick the minimum of the two integers. So if A is 5, and let's say, for example, the other uh, integer, B is, let's say, for example, negative 10. 5 mean negative 10 is equal to the minimum of the two integers, which is negative 10. We also gave this an example of a binary operation, A, O plus B. And this is how we defined the operation. This is the rule. So this means 5, O plus 1 is equal to 5 times 1 plus 5 plus 1. And so this is equal to 11. Associative property. Let G be a non-empty set. The binary operation star on G is associative if and only if for every three elements, A, B, and C, and G, this is true. What this means is you can change the grouping with which you are applying the operation. You can change it, but the result is the same. And we saw this. This is not the first time you are seeing the word associative property. Maybe you can recall it. At the beginning of the school year, in our math classes, our teachers would require us to write down in our notebooks the set of properties for real numbers. And among them is this. 
Look at that, the associative property of real numbers. Let us demonstrate the associative property of some binary operations. Not all binary operations are associative, but some are. So mean is a binary operation that meets the associative property. Okay, so let's say, for example, we have three integers such that A is less than B and uh, it is less than C. What is this? A mean B? mean c okay so a mean b is equal to a a mean c is equal to a okay now let us change the grouping with which we shall apply our operation what is a mean okay mean the group b mean c so what we do is we first pick which is the minimum of the two we apply mean to this uh, two integers first. What is the minimum? It's B. What then is A mean B? It's A. So they are the same. The binary operation mean follows the associative property. How about addition modulo 3? So we have three integers, 5, 21, and 8. So let us apply addition modulo 3 on 5 and 21 first. 5 plus 21 addition modulo 3 is equal to 2. That is the remainder when you divide 26 by 3. So what is 2 plus 8 addition modulo 3? What is the remainder when you divide 10? 2 plus 8 is 10 by 3. It's 1. Okay, let us now change the grouping of our uh, operation. Let us apply addition modulo 3 on 21 and 8 first. What is that? This one is 29. So you divide 29 by 3, the remainder is 2. What is 5 plus 2 addition modulo 3? It's also equal to 1. So they are the same. They are the same. How about this? Our operation denoted by O plus. So let us pick three integers, A, B, and C. So we shall apply O plus first on A and B. So what is this? This is this. And then we apply uh, O plus with this one and this one. What is that equal to? So we will get the product. This whole thing times C. That's it. Plus the first term. Okay, let's call this the first term. Plus the second term. And this is the output. Let us now change the grouping with which we are applying O+. Plus. Let us apply O+, plus first on the two other terms, B and C. That is the result using our definition for a o plus b okay so let us now apply o plus to these two terms let's call it the first term and let's call this the second term this is the result are the two equal are the two equal is this equal to the earlier operation that we did wherein we applied O plus first on A and B. Is this equal to that? Okay, so let us compare the two results. A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, A, C, A, B, C, B, and C. So they are equal. They are equal. This means that this operation... O plus is associative.